I started tennis when I was about seven years old. My mom was a tennis pro, um, so she taught me until I was about 12 years old, really. We hit a couple times a week. She taught me all the strokes, all the basics, and uh, I'm thankful to have her in my life. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Williams. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm an up-and-coming tennis professional. Right now we are in Boca Raton, Florida at the USTA training facility. This is a great place to work, incredible coaching. I try to get in two practices a day. We have a great gym and, and great fitness coaches down here as well. I'm here from eight to five every day. It's a long day is here. Before I turned pro in 2011, I played two years of college tennis at the University of Tennessee. It's always fun playing for something bigger than yourself. When you're playing on a team, there's so many more guys that can pick up the slack or, uh, you know, it, it doesn't all fall on you. Maybe, maybe sometimes if you lose a big match, it may feel that way, but it, it's really not. It's, it's such a team, team sport and, you know, that's really the only time in tennis that uh, you, you can play for a team is in college or, or maybe team tennis. Even at college, I, I knew that I, there would be a time where I would, I would blossom and develop and, and I could maybe give pro tennis a shot. So it's always been my dream and, and I'm out here doing it. It's, uh, it's, it's fantastic to have AB and AMRO clearing on, on my side. They do really help financially. It's a little bit of a cushion, you know, I can afford my rent, <laughs> you know, it's things like that. I can play the Rotterdam tournament for the next three years, which, uh, I probably would never do if I wasn't involved with them. It's just a, it's gonna be really fun. I can't wait to go visit the country and uh, you know play that tournament. It's gonna be fantastic. It's great. I'm I'm really happy to be involved with them, and I can't thank them enough. The thing I really want to focus on is is my fitness and my physicality. As you can see, Ferrer and Djokovic and Rafa and. Andy Murray, those guys have taken the game to a whole other level, and uh, you know, just physically, they're they're so strong and they're so fast and fit, and they can play hours and hours and hours. And I just, we're just all trying to keep up. You know, they, they've set the they set the tone, and, and now everyone has to try and match what they've done. I don't think it's right to uh, to listen to just one thing and have just one set of rules or one way you do things. I think you have to grab bits and pieces from everyone and try to make it your own. I would say I'm not a typical American player. Um, I like to carefully construct points. I like to have rhythm. I like to have time and I like to, uh, to build the points the way I want to. I'm not an impatient player. I like to be patient and let the ball settle and you know use my forehand to set up the point and, and just carefully create each point. There, there are a lot of sacrifices you have to make to be a pro tennis player. I don't get to see the family very often, maybe only a couple times a year, which is hard. And, um, you know, the dieting is, is huge these days. As you can see, uh, Murray, Djokovic, and Ferrer, those guys are so fit, and they watch what they put in their body, not only the tennis, but the off-court stuff. So it's a, it's a huge deal, and that's, that's also something I've been working on. It wasn't all tennis for me um, until I was about 14, and then I quit basketball and baseball. I was always pretty good, top 10 in the country, so uh, I was probably the best at tennis, and, and that's what I went with. I see myself being inside the top 50. That would be my dream, that's my goal. I want to be in the Grand Slams, I want to be competing you know, with the top guys in the world. Um, I haven't hit my peak, which is a good thing, I still have a lot to learn, I still have maturing to do physically. There's a long way to go, but it looks promising.